Hello and welcome. This is Honeysuckle bringing you another episode of Lake. So let's continue and see what we have in store for us today. Oh yes, it's raining. Alright, can we talk to Frank? I think we tried talking to him last time. I don't see Frank. It's not over there. Okay, well let's just get in the truck and go. Can we... Alright, movie box to Lori and meet with Robert about paperwork. Right. It's a lovely day. Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a... P.O. Positive or that tea. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's so positive this time, Jack. My cat, Mortimer, was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey and our new mailman, Meryl, he's in great condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. Okay. Now, I forget what button we used to look. There we go. So, I forgot where we're at. 107 East 2nd Street. Yes, we do have a mail here. So let's get out. 107, deliver the mail. Here's your mail. Mm -hmm. Why do I not have a rain jacket, a hood? Put your hood up, something. Umbrella would be nice. Okay, I have to stop. Stop. Store down here has a package, okay. We'll park right here. This is a package on Main Street. Let's see if we can figure out which package it is. Lake Road, Lake Road, Main Street. That's got to be it. That's lighter than I thought. Let's hurry up and cross the street. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. Hmm. Sounds like a headache indeed. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Okay. Have a nice day, ma'am. That sounds like that'll be fun. See to get camera. Alright. General store. Let's take a photo. Alright. Next package. Alright, let's see, we've got several deliveries here in town, let's see, letters all through there, and then, let's see, deliver movie box, okay, Markel, South Crossroads, 
Oh, a package out of the farm. I've been wanting to go out there. Then a package here at Moe's Diner. All right, let's take care of the ones in town. And then we'll just go around the lake. Hope nobody was coming. All right, I'm going to turn down here. Okay, 205 Jackson Street. We're going to have to wander around and get quite a few pictures, too. In fact, that makes me wonder. Because it looked like there was a little street off the end of that road down there. Let's just go see what's there. Might be a good photo opportunity. Right here. Oh, that's cute. A little church. Okay. Oh, I remember this place. Do you? Because I don't. All right. I'm not sure I'd really want to be driving down a dirt path in the rain with a big mail truck because I'm pretty sure that's a good way to get stuck in the mud. Okay. Let's head on down here. Have a couple more letters to put out here in town. next street over here. Little alley. Right down here. Okay. Was that one of the letters? 103 and 106 3rd Street. So not you. 103 is probably over here. There's 103, so let's deliver the mail. Then 106 is down just a little bit. Six right there. Here's your mail. Alright, let's take a look at our map. Uh, one more mail over here. And then packages around. And I do want to try to find a good few places to take pictures. Oops, sorry car. Whoa, lady, just walk out right in the middle of the street. I don't think it would be good if the mailman ran over somebody. Mail lady. Okay. 
I think that's where I was supposed to go. Some pretty houses around here. I can't even remember where I live. Probably around here somewhere. Uh, where am I? I am headed out of town the wrong way. Well, let's go see what's down here. Whoa, car, really? It's like people now want to. isn't the time to leave Providence Oaks. All right. Don't want us to do it. What's down here? That's interesting. I'm not sure that's the kind of photo I'm looking for, though. Oh, here's a little road. Anything interesting to take a picture of? Head on back to town. Well, I know this right here would be a good thing to take a picture of. Let's just park right here in the middle of the road. And stand in the middle of the road. Taking three pictures out of twelve. Don't run over me. Sorry, let me get out of your way. Alright, we'll cross this little waterway here. Alright, there's our house. I wanted to get a picture of our house. So let's swing around here. Right down here on the corner. Okay. So, maybe this. Get the tree swing, the doghouse, and the big tree. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be taking pictures of, but... We'll eventually get it figured out. Alright. Let's go to Lori and drop off that movie box.
What was it wanting me to drive through there? Oops. Left the package in the truck. Oops. Alright, we're at 300 Lake Road. That's it. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. Hmm. You'll probably love that bug. I'm almost 16, Miss W. That's a kid's movie. Well, I watched it when I was in college. So you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie. Wow. You just don't understand the classics. So you'll pick A Nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Okay. Tell you what. Take the love bug now, and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. Okay, so we have a movie date with the teenager. Awesome. Yeah, it's not wanting to let me drop through that. Alright, we need to go to Bear Creek. Did I already pass this road? Let's see. No, we can get that down here at the next one. Alright, so... Do I have to go there? No. Alright, we need to go really all the way around. But I want to go to Bear Creek just to cross that covered bridge and get a picture there. So I'll meet you there at the covered bridge. Okay. So I can take a picture this way. Or can I get a side view? That could be cool as well. I think I'd rather just the picture down looking down the road of it because that's always cool all right camera looks good okay I hope there's not an achievement for taking certain pictures because I'm just taking whatever I want to take a picture of okay around there and let's drive on around and see if we see anything else interesting that one looks cool let's just take a picture of that I'm not even paying any attention to how many pictures I've taken. Whoops. I'm totally going to get stuck here one time. Alright, next package. Let's get on around. Either next package or next photo. I 
comes off through here. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I think oh. I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if we can get the picnic table in the shot. Not the rock. Picnic table. That's not bad. All right, five more photos left. Oh, here's the farm. We have a package down here. That will be a cool picture to get, too. Maybe without the power poles. But I do want to get the windmill. Like right here, maybe? Pictures left. Let's get on down here and deliver this package. I'm wasting way too much time. Oh, they have a little chicken coop there. That's for chickens. That's cute. Okay. Oh. Package, package, that means get it from the back of the truck. Reynolds Farm. Hey, up. Uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. If your name is Jack Reynolds, indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice yeah. to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farming. I've seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks. But I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Um, I'm afraid it would need a stamp first. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have them here. I can sell you a stamp right now if you want. Don't have cash on me right now. So do we take it or not? Well, Frank is our co-worker at the postal office. So we'll do this one time. Oh, well. I'll take it with me for this one time. Thank you so much. Probably shouldn't have done that. Because we're on duty. I shouldn't have taken it. This seems nice. I mean, come on. This is a small town. He's a DJ. Everybody knows him. If anybody says anything, I'll just pay for it myself. Alright, next on the list will either be a package or... Is there somebody out in the field? 
look like it. Um, package or photo opportunity. So we'll see you whenever we stop next. Okay, looks like package is next. Let's see if we get blueberry pie or coffee. Okay, delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Okay, about the other day. What about it? Um, do we want to ask why she was upset, or do we want to just, right off the bat, we put my foot, you know, put, put our foot in it, or ask about the moon landing? Uh, we'll go with the first one. I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. We had to have it sometime. I suppose. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. Oh, I don't want to mess it up. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with, or I was overwhelmed back then. I don't want to focus on me. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with, even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk. I mean, you know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Good. Okay, so now we need to return to the post office, but I still want to get some pictures. What else do I need to do today? Um, we delivered the movie to Lori. And we still need to meet with Robert about the paperwork. Oh, the side of the truck. There we go. Alright, more pictures. More pictures, more pictures. Alright, what's past the diner down here? Where are we? Uh, up here. Okay. Uh, Marina? Maybe there's some good pictures to be had down there. would be a cool picture. Maybe? We can frame it, right? Alright, 
we still need to get a few more pictures. Maybe the crazy cat lady, huh? Sure, let's run over there. There she is. <laughs> okay, picture with all the cats. Here we go. Sorry. Thought she'd run into my van. I was going to be upset. Okay, let's take a picture of the hotel and the diner, and then we'll be done. Oh, we could take a picture right here at the, uh, the mechanic shop. Here we go, camera. Alright, one more picture. It'll have to be the diner. So that would be closer to just turn around and go back the other way. So I'll meet you there. Alright. Let's see, that should be good. Right there. Alright. Let's take the camera back. Alright, here's the general store. We are going to park right here. Hop out. Take the camera back. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. Hmm. Apparently we can't take the camera back yet. Back to the post office. Oh, here we are at Moe's Diner. Well now, Meredith and Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one, if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and, uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. A roof! Yes, I promise to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm? Sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than ten minutes. Right? What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. Well, I mean... He has a lumberjack. Oh, Maureen, please. What do you take me for? For a human being, of course. Don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now. I don't buy it for a second. Anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know? Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> uh, yes, coffee refill. A coffee refill would be nice. Thanks, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. 
Ashley, is that coffee machine still running? They what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. Do you think he'll manage? What do you think? Um, I want to help him out. To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hardworking individuals. Here you go. Thanks, Maureen. Uh, they showed the coffee's actually filled How up. How could anyone survive without it? Right? So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Time sure does fly. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all. You know, so... Thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Okay. Everything okay over here? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. Of course. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. What's up, Steve? Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. <laughs> it better help. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had. You won't regret it. It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. Okay. Calm down, Steve. And what happens now? <laughs> well, yes. Calmness is needed. Eyes on the price. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Okay. Okay, Steve. Good luck. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Okay, so do we want to watch TV or read a book? Let's open our agenda. Uh, see, so we delivered the movie box. We met with Robert about the paperwork. So that's good. Let's close that. And let's stay home and read a book. And that will end the episode the today. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Meredith. It's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Um, we're going to leave this here and pick up in the next episode. So we will see you then. Bye.